Do you think that the content that we're talking about is just the content for, for the rule of law? It's contempt for uh, council of state, contempt for the governors, and contempt for the people. Well, um, if you have content for the rule of law already, I think you're already against the people. Mm -hmm. That's the way I see it. So no matter, they said even if the drunk judge gives a judgment, mm -hmm. you need to expect that judgment. As this is, you are, I mean, we're not looking from the high court. We are talking about the Supreme, Supreme Court. court. Uh, but I, like, um, I, I keep saying um, the president has people that he listens to. Oh, yeah. And I think he's still listening to those people. Um, if you look at the governors, uh, when you look at the Nigerian Governors Forum, you say how constitutionally variable are they even? Are they a pressure group or do they come there for their own common interests? Okay. Secondly, you look at the National Council of State and you say how much of, 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 of an influence have the National can, Council can, of can State really, do, have they really had on any government? Mm. I'm not even talking about President Buhari government, any government. Have you seen a policy that have come from the National Council of State and is, the president is telling you, I'm pushing this policy because this is what the former leaders, this is what people that have sat here before are saying? Definitely not. Mm -hmm. Now, in this policy, when you look at this policy, the timing, I keep saying, like he said, it's a good policy. But the timing is wrong. Then the target, you are not bringing a policy that is destroying the most vibrant sector of the Nigerian economy, mm -hmm. the informal sector. The, larger, the largest employer of labor, the informal sector. You are destroying them, and you are not even, it's just like what has happened. From 20, 20 um, maybe 2015, not, not before 2015 even, we systematically begin to eliminate the middle class. Mm. Today, there's no middle class. We have the rich and the poor. And the poor. There's no middle class. So when I heard the, uh, the vice president talking about um, getting middle class to uh, um, another type of uh, highly middle class, I was like, where is the middle class? So what we are doing now is what we've done to the middle class. We are trying to eliminate the informal sector, and we are going to cause crisis on our hands. Unemployment is, is already high. Businesses are already losing a lot of money. Customers are not coming again. Yes. People are beginning to just stay at their house. There's so, hunger like in the Dr. land. The firm said that we are heading for a recession. Is that what it is? Well, <laughs> you know, when it comes to recession, they need to have their data. Right? Recession doesn't just happen in a day. Mm. You understand? It has to. We have had the, 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 the GDP has come out. We have to have three consecutive GDP of negative before we say we are heading to recession. So I don't, you know, sometimes the politicians make us feel we are going to die. But this policy, the only challenge is in the implementation. Mm. Everybody keeps saying it. And the timing. And if you... We are talking about technical recession. We are talking of actual recession. You know, experiential well, recession. If you are talking about... When, 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 when you cannot eat... You cannot drink. Do you need that economy? We have been, we have been on that recession since. Do you need an economist to tell you <laughs> where, what, a, what a technical we are, recession if, is? If, yeah? if, 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 if we are like, already there, we, are, like, we have been like there I have malaria. The doctor is saying, well, when you have malaria, you have to have this symptom and so on. You are talking your own. I'm feeling cold inside, and you are saying that uh, you have to run. Do but the doctor first, needs to think the symptom first to so decide what to do. Yeah, no, but, but that, doesn't have to, that doesn't change whether I'm having cold or having headache. The it challenge, change everything. We are, the challenge is that this, this, this current administration never, maybe in 2015 when they came in, they have an economic policy. By the second time of 2019, there seems to be no economic policy. They never came with any blueprint of how to move the economy. All they tell us about is building infrastructures, 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 infrastructure. They have not looked at the Nigerian, the manpower, the greatest resources you have, the people. How much investment are we putting on them? Mm -hmm. And now the same people are beginning to find a way to invest on themselves. And that same investment that they have, that they have struggled to keep in the banks, they cannot have access to it. It's, 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 it's frustrating. Mm -hmm. You need to go out. Uh, people come out as early as 3 a.m. People come out to give numbers. People have cashed in into uh, yeah. selling numbers for people. People give 10,000 naira, collect 3,000 naira as a POS terminal. This, all the policy that was geared towards financial inclusion is all turned to nonsense now. So where are we heading to? Definitely, we are heading to a situation whereby the people are beginning to say, 
They don't care about us. Mm. They are beginning, or they have been saying it. They have been saying it, but now it's obvious that they don't care about you. Because if you look at Mr. President's speech yesterday, the speech seems to be, this is what I have made up my mind to do. Mm. And I'm going to carry it out to the latter. Right. It had no human content. There was nothing to be excited no, no about the face. speech. There was no human speech. The only human speech was to say, I've heard what you are suffering about Nigerians. I sympathize with you. I sympathize I with like, you. And I, it's like, I have to say, it's just like somebody, two children who are fighting, then they say, you tell him sorry. They do like, nah, you know, sorry. You know, that's, that's, that's what you, you know, you always talk about uh -huh. the Bible. Yes. You remember there was a king in the Bible. That the people went to meet him and said, Your father suffered us so much, much. Mm. Yes. that we, we almost died. He said, Solomon. He said, he said Go Solomon. back. Solomon. He, yeah. Solomon. He, yes. said, he said, Go back and then come back. I think it was the son of Solomon, not Solomon. Himself. He said, Go back and come back. He now went to meet his advisors. What do we have to say about it? He said, Ah, you have to deal with them. More. By the time they came back, he said, If my father Solomon was the one that suffered them. Mm -hmm. yes. He, he son, he had, he, yes, his son. It was his son. Yes, that, that was says, a, yes. Solomon's son. Yes. He now said, if my father gave you people 10,000 like I'm going to give you people 20,000. Yes. So what has happened is that the governor's forum goes to Mr. President. Mr. President said, you know what? Don't worry. Give me seven days. I'll come back to you. He went to his advisor. I said, this is what the advisor said. You know what? Tell them we are going to implead more suffering on them. 1,500 nodes will be out of circulation. You only have the old 2,000, uh, 200, 200 naira and the new 200. And let me tell you, the new 200 naira note, the old 200 naira notes have not even been in circulation. Mm. What has been in circulation, remember when the CBN came with this policy, every ATM machine, you will no more have 1,000 or 500 naira notes. Mm. You say it has to be only 200 mm. naira notes. But these days, when you go to the ATM machine, the only currency that is in circulation 1, is 1,000 naira, not even 500. We have not been seeing the 500. We have not been seeing the 200. So... And when he came up with the policy and they said um, both the old and the new note, the Supreme Court came up with that policy. Being close to the financial space, try to reach out to some of these people playing that sector. They made us understand that the 1,000 Naira note and the 500 Naira note were being mopped out of circulation by the CBN. Even a circular came in after the Supreme Court gave its judgment. A circular came into the bank on Friday yeah. that every 1,000 Naira note and 500 Naira note must be out of the banking space to the CBN vote. Hmm. So it shows that and there have, have been a calculated notes. attempt already. At every time that they think the policy is going to suffer a setback, they try to re-engineer themselves, re-strategize, and say, we are going to deal with the people. Whoever they are targeting, hmm. we are going to make sure they don't have the light of day. But in the interim, like what they say, when two elephants fight, the grass, suffers. the grass is suffering. And the ordinary Nigerians, over 130 million Nigerians in the poverty level are the ones suffering. And out of the 130 million Nigerians that are in the poverty level, this present administration brought over 100 million Nigerians into those brackets. <laughs>